All right, we're streaming. Yay! Hi, everybody. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a client spotlight with Robin Jardine. She's a powerful healer. She's amazing. And I am like the luckiest human on the planet to have been able to work with her. Um, and I keep trying to just tell her not to leave me, but I'm so proud of her because she's amazing. And she's like doing, she's just, it's all flowing for her naturally. She's bringing it all through. And we've had the chance to work together in the Akashic Records certification program and also in Thrive, which is another course that I ran with Daisy Farrell. So um, she's going to be able to share a little bit of that juice with you. And we're going to talk about how this has really helped her confidence and her business and her own individual work. Um, and you guys can ask any questions that you'd like as they arise. So Robin, do you want to introduce yourself, my love? Thanks for being here. No problem. So yeah, I own a business called Robin's Healing. And I started that probably about six, seven years ago. Um, and I've taken a lot of certificates, but I'm really happy that I took the Akashic Records because that's just like icing on the cake to basically everything that I do. Mm -hmm. So plus I learned Aside from going into the records, I learned a lot of unique tools that I definitely didn't have before. So things like tapping, um, I have done past life before, but not in the records. Future readings, um, astral travel, like really, really deep stuff that I was probably scared to do before that it was like a comforting place to, to with you and with the group to be like holding that space. Otherwise, I think if I did it on my own in individual pieces, it probably wouldn't have been the same. So thank you, because I enjoyed not just that one, but also the one with you and Daisy. That was like, just yeah. again, icing on the cake. It was perfect timing for me because I was healing some digestive issues. And now I can say that like my digestive issues are pretty much like, they're just so much better. Like yeah. they're not, they're not perfect. But now again, I feel like I even have tools for that. And so it was like really nice to blend the two at the same time. So. Yeah, I actually really love that too, because it was like, all right, I'm going to, to commit to learning in addition to committing to just my own healing and like allowing myself to be nurtured in this process and be taken care of and not necessarily mm -hmm. have to look at this like an educational experience, but it's just for me, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And you're so good at that too. Like so good at balancing that and being able to like really take time for yourself. Thank you. I try, but that, yeah. but that's kind of what, like you said, you created the program to allow people like kind of like weekly to integrate things, which is yeah. like, it's set up for success. So it's like, if you're not succeeding, it's probably because you're not, you're not allowing yourself to, that makes sense. Yes. Like, oh, might, absolutely. Yeah because you kind of have to succeed if you do this program. That's how I feel. Cause it's set up yeah. for that. You're welcome. Yeah. This is how I feel. Yeah. Well, I, and, and that's come from the own, the programs that I've done over the years, you know, that I've done and mm -hmm. been able to say like, okay, this is what I liked. This is what worked. This is what didn't work. And this is the kind of experience that I want to be able to provide for people because especially when you're certifying somebody, you want to make sure that like, you know, you're giving them everything that you feel is comprehensive so that when you're handing them that certificate, you're like, okay, I know very confidently that they have everything that they need. Um, and, and, and that you've been able to shift in ways. And that's, what's so cool for me, for my side is mm -hmm. like to see you guys when you first come in and then when you leave and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Like, mm -hmm. like you and I were talking about before we went live about the new programs you're starting and creating mm -hmm. and the downloads that are coming through. And how it's just natural. And that's what this work is about is like making the human easy. Mm -hmm. Like I can say that my dreams have been on fire. <laughs> so yeah. obviously my intuition is deeper, but I go into the records a lot. And that was something at the beginning because I didn't fully understand what they were. I think I had some nervous energy around like, what is this and how do I experience this? And now I like love it. And I'm in them all the time and I'm taking advantage of like every opportunity that I have to get more knowledge and information for like my clients and myself. So in mm. when I'm in dream, in my dreams, that's probably where I get the most healing now. So that's cool. And so, so can you share people, share with people, um, how they can maybe work with their dreams a little bit? Like what have you learned that's been helpful to assist you with integrating and healing through that? 
the ancestral piece that we learned was probably the most powerful for me. Um, we kind of, I feel like we made um, a type of symbol in the ancestral part. We did, we could, sigils, yeah. Yeah, and that was really stood out a lot to me, like that I had like a representation of, of my ancestors and also like the crystal grids. I feel like that was helpful that I'm in the power and I'm in control whenever I want to create like feelings and outcomes and like everything blends so well together because you could do the crystal grids for the ancestral healing yeah and like before bed so that's kind of what I did was like I set myself up before bed a lot and I know you said that you often don't do before bed but I actually found like I understand why you said that because it was intense but what I'm finding mm -hmm. is that's where I'm actually it feels the most comfortable for me to heal mm -hmm. at nighttime when I'm sleeping see thank you for sharing that so much because that's one of the things that I'm really proud of is that you know, I've experienced so many times coaches saying like, do it this way. Like, this is the way you need to do it. And even if they say like, oh, it's okay. Like you can find your own way. They're kind of pissy about you not doing it that way because like, mm -hmm. that's yeah. their way towards success. And they feel like you're a reflection of, of them, you know, mm -hmm. but that's one of the things I am so adamant about in my programs is like, let's find out what works for you. Like I tell people, mm -hmm. I'm like, if you want to open the records before bed, go for it. It keeps me up all freaking night with downloads. So I don't do it. But some people do like lucid dreaming is a phenomenal tool to use and I love it, but it also makes me so intuitive that I expand really quickly. And it's like too quickly for my physical body. Like I don't have enough integration time. And so, you know, but, but that's me and you're you and everybody's got their own blueprint and the way that the Akashic records work uniquely with each person's blueprint. Like, it's so cool. I even posted on my story the other day. I was like, I literally didn't realize that when I had 16 people in this program in the fall that I'd be getting. 16 readings now right. like i knew it like i knew it intellectually but like now that i'm receiving and i'm like oh this is so fun like this is so nice yeah because like you do did it so differently than pammy did it and then mm -hmm. she does it differently than somebody else and it's mm -hmm. just that's what's fascinating is there's obviously billions of people on this planet that need and can benefit from this work and we all need unique practitioners to reach all of those unique souls mm -hmm. so i like how you just taught a bunch of tools and then you allowed us to kind of discover what tool we wanted to pull versus yeah. like you said, there's an order in which it has to go because I work best being an intuitive with being able to pull from a hat. So you created this big hat for us, like gave us like the really simple tool, but gave us this, this yeah, big hat to go with it. So that's what I liked because I'm now mm. constantly like going back to the videos and being like, okay, I think I want to like relearn this. And so that's what I like about it being taped too, that if it's not, the, if it's too much, I can go back to it later. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and that's one of the things you said about the program too, is that like you, you were able to go at your own pace. Like, even though, you know, you would have the modules every week. Um, if you didn't feel ready for it, you, you mm -hmm. waited on it. You're like, I'm not going yeah. this week. Peace. I'm just going to chill and integrate. And again, the, the program is structured to support that kind of flexibility and to support your own intuitive nudge in whatever direction, you know, you're feeling at the time. And it's right. most important for people to tune into their energy first and foremost, above what I say, above what anybody else in this world says, you know, to listen yeah. to your own energy. So I love that so much. And the other thing that I love is that you're going back to the videos, because not only can you use those to remind you of skills, but it's set up so that you can like you now have past life regressions you now have current life regressions that if you need them for your own healing and you don't want to do it yourself you just turn on the recording and i do it for you you know exactly so that's something i can over the next year or so like as i'm continuously mm -hmm. learning and wanting to help and teach also i can go back and just be like oh that's what that meant because at the time you're learning a lot of stuff so yeah i think it's really healthy to have that digital access yeah after too. So yeah. how did you feel like during the process? Like, I know we talked about like, um, well, you know what, let's back forth. Let's back back forth a little bit. Let's back forth. Um, I'm going to create a new language of my own too, from the Akashic records. So like, I know that when you were originally drawn to this program, you really didn't know what the hell this was. And you had been recommended to me, but you were like, ah, 
I just trust it just feels right, which I honor you so deeply because that was scary as hell for me at the beginning. And I know that's a big issue for a lot of people. So yeah. like, what gave you the confidence to just do it and know and say, you know what? I just, I trust, I trust that this is for me right now. Well, Ali, like, can I just listen to spirit? Mm-hmm. And to, because I'm capable of, and when I say listen, listen to spirit, my intuition, basically, like yeah. I always, because I already had some background in other things and I've worked on myself a lot then it allowed me to kind of just be like okay I'm not 100% sure like if this is in my account right now because it's I'm doing a bunch of other things but I just was like no you're meant to do this so yeah and then in terms of the Akashic Records I had heard about it previously Mm -hmm. and it's interested me but I had no idea what it was so that's where it was like okay, whenever I become interested in something, it's usually for a reason. So I just trust Mm -hmm. when the, I guess when the teacher comes that I'm supposed to do it, but Mm -hmm. I was getting these like little hints before I met you. Mm -hmm. So I I already had a a little bit of interest, but I really didn't know what it was when I joined. I had no idea. I was like, the Akashic Records, what are those? And I kind of, and I kind of felt embarrassed. I was like, I don't even know what we're doing. (laughs) but I'm here for it (laughs) but yeah so I was like really the EFT the tapping part was also I started tapping before I did the course and I didn't know that tapping was in the course so I really came in with no expectations and I I actually felt like it was better not having any expectations it was just like yep okay I'm here I'm ready yeah yeah oh I love that that, those are the people who get the most change. Those are the people mm-hmm. who see the most, the, the results most quickly because you're really just willing to show up and say, okay, I don't know what I'm here for, but I'm here for it, <laughs> you know? And I'm willing to receive and just allow it to unfold. So beautiful. Okay. Are you still there or did we lose you? You were freezing up there. Okay. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. I see you again. Okay, cool. I think we're good. Oh, maybe not. Say hi if you guys can see me and hear me in the comments. Say, hello, hello, I can see you and hear you. Cause I think we might've lost Robin. Yes, we lost Robin. That's okay, she'll jump back on. Oh, there she is. Okay, beautiful. Hi again. Hi oh, again, hi. Thank, you for, thank you for your patience and understanding people. Okay, so, and say hi. Oh, thank you for saying hi, I appreciate it. Cause I wasn't sure if the comments were working and I just wanted to make sure that, um, we were actually human. Maybe she, maybe you got sucked into a different dimension. Okay. So um, maybe, whatever. All right. So one of the things I do want to ask you too is um, we talked about your, your concerns with the money. Like, oh, I don't really have this in my bank account, but mm, this just feels right. And I'm going to go for it. That's what happened to me. That's exactly yeah. what happened to me. And I was like, I literally came up with every single um conscious logical reason why this made no sense for me to do and then I was like I guess I'm gonna do it (laughs) like I just it felt right like for I just kept Mm -hmm. getting pulled to it and I was like all right and it was just so strong I couldn't ignore it anymore that's what happened to me yeah so well what ended up happening is through the program I ended up like charging way more for my services anyway because it helped me with my confidence and my self-worth and my self-love, both of the programs. Um, my herbs are just smoking like crazy. No oh my God, I know. <laughs> I'm like, thank God, they're getting rid of all the dense energy. <laughs> like, what? I've never seen smoke that much before. Anyway, so obviously it, um, it's helping everyone. Uh, <laughs> or can burn my nose <laughs> in a cloud. That wouldn't be the first time I set something on fire. Anyway. Um, <laughs> What was I said? <laughs> oh, you were saying that you also got to charge more for your services because you were more yes. confident. Yes, absolutely. The self-worth, the self-love, all of that. So our one-on-one sessions were really helpful for me. So that's what I was saying yeah. to you earlier because I love the group setting because that was super supportive and it was like we were kind of holding each other 
plus we have you as our mentor and then we get that private time which it felt like in a half an hour we got a lot accomplished well that's also because you were very organized like you came with like yes this is and that's what i tell people to do not everybody listens but you Mm -hmm. you were like yeah like you knew exactly what you wanted to work on and we dove right in and and got so much done that way yeah Mm -hmm. and so that's what i like about the akashic records is it's so clear and so quick that it doesn't have to take a long time i feel like to get the effects or the feelings from it so you taught me to like go into mother earth and like gaia and so that was something I didn't really think about doing where I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. I can go into that energy. And then I felt even more grounded. So these were tools that I would teach. And, but it was just like, wow, this is like really effective. Like, it's, yeah. cr- it's crazy. So now I feel like I can do anything <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> really, because it's like, you can go as deep as you want to with it. Like, yes. And at your own pace and like integrate, like whatever's coming forward is going to come forward because it's, you're ready for it in the moment. Like you're ready to integrate it in the moment. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so beautiful that you allowed that to flow. You know, you allowed that to flow and just receive, you know, what was meant for you at the time. So, but yeah, it's true. That's why I want to scream the Akashic records from the rooftops because it really does like, Mm -hmm. it's absolutely magical. I mean, it's literally Mm -hmm. like a magic wand to create so much ease, not only in your personal life, but in your business. Like every single one of my programs, my pricing, my structures, my everything is downloaded from the records. And all I have Mm -hmm. to do is close my eyes and tune in and I'm good. And it it Mm -hmm. takes away that like straining energy that I have to super focus and rack my brain and make it perfect kind of energy. It's helped my perfectionism brilliantly. (laughs) Well, it feels like you just, it's like you go into it does kind of feel like you go into a different place and not in a, not in a negative way, in a positive way. Exactly what you said. You go from like being here on earth to kind of like, okay, I get to switch this energy over where it benefits somebody else and me at the same time. And I Mm. trust it. That's the key thing is that's what I developed was in my readings before I would kind of be like, do I really want to do readings for people? Because sometimes they get fixated or and it can put me into my head, even though yeah. I believe in my own gifts. So with the Akashic Records, I'm like, oh, this is just like the Akashic Records are giving me the information that I need. And to your, like, if they prioritize the answers for you. Mm-hmm. So whatever you're getting is what you're meant to get. And so it kind of allowed me to um, organize, I guess, how readings are, are done and really get out of my head about it and so now Mm -hmm. like I'm getting so much positive feedback from my readings where even if people at the time yeah are kind of like "Mm." afterwards they're all coming back and being like oh my god I had so many amazing experiences after this and now like it's it's blowing my mind or when I go online and do my lives also I'm like hey I can just like go into go into the records and yeah, it'll kind of what you do. It's just like, it'll just kind of sort it out so I can set this intention versus me having to feel any, um, like there's any work involved. So I, like I know it's, it's mm-hmm. unbelievable how it really doesn't feel like yeah. work at all. And, and you were talking about like the Akashic records really bringing through, you know, what you're ready to integrate and what's ready for you, mm-hmm. but there's all, they also download for us who are light workers, who are healers, what's best for the collective, like what people need right now, you know, like you were just talking about another program that you're putting together and it's like, yeah, it's just, they're telling me this is what people need right now. And that's what I love. Like I just, I'm just finishing up. I think it ends on Monday, my Akashic amplifier course. That wasn't something that was in my business plan at all. And that's, what's funny, like being able to have a business plan so that you have a bit of a structure because we need that balance of masculine and feminine energy, but also realizing like when you're working with the Akashic records or you're working with intuitive work, you know, whatever, like spirit is my boss. The Akashic records are my boss. Like they're the ones who are going to download and say like, this is what people need right now. And it just kept coming forward so strongly. I'm like, okay, guess I'm creating something else. Exactly. Yeah. So it just heightens your sense of awareness, I guess, to, to like everything within you and around you. So like, I also do theta healing. I also do Reiki and all of this stuff. So now I get to do 
like Reiki, like I already called Reiki energy in before we even came on here. And before mm. I used to kind of think like, oh, you know, that might make me feel like a little bit like even heavy. And now I'm like, no, I'm like doing everything from my heart and like feel yeah. safe and feel grounded and feel like protected. And so yes. that's kind of, you know, working with the crystals and even like having tapping to like, just be something I can pull out. Like, it's amazing how you can shift energy so quickly. It's, I love it. Well, and I love that you bring that up too, because you need to be motivated in order to do that. Right. And you yeah. need to feel safe because like, and that's one of the things that the, the number one thing I would say that people say about this program in particular is the strength of the community, that it's truly an Akashic family, a hundred percent. And that everybody's always talking to each other and helping each other and supporting each other. And that in itself, outside of the educational piece and my support and all of that is it provides such a safe foundation for people, you know, such a safe foundation to be able, like you said, to explore this past life stuff that you're able to do on your own now, you know, mm -hmm. that it, it's very different to say, Hey, Laura, read this or bring this through for me versus teach me how to do it so that I can do it for myself and feel even more empowered. Mm -hmm. And I like the self, the self healing portion of it. Like we're saying that it doesn't have to just be like to teach others or to help others that it can just help you. And so maybe that's why I do it at nighttime because typically I'm helping people daytime. And then I feel like nighttime is kind of like integrating it all. And, yeah. um, and then it kind of helps me find solutions to problems. But the light language was another really, oh. really amazing thing. So this was a little while ago. I was doing like 10 days of yoga and I was doing like meditation. And all of a sudden I'm like, hey, I'm going to call in the Akashic Records right before I go and I do my yoga practice. So I'm like doing the, doing the yoga, putting on the meditation. And then all of a sudden I'm like, and it went on like it's like it would not stop for like a few minutes so I actually taped it like I Good, I'm so proud of you so I'm like because this is kind of like out there for some people right like that because it's still new to me but I'm like I love having it recorded because when this is coming up and out it's pretty cool for other people to at least know what that I guess means or sounds like because it only comes up when it wants to but it was like when I was in a really peaceful state and it was obviously for me right so I was like this is so cool so I, was I love this, that yeah and I like called in my ancestors I'm getting more into calling those energies now whereas okay. before I felt like I would call in maybe angels but now I'm like really embracing the ancestors and like feeling that love with them too and it's bringing me into the herbs now mm -hmm. and, and the, all these like beautiful products so I guess these are things that I'm yeah meant to share so it's opening me up to my gifts too which is cool see that just warms my heart because you know that ancestral healing is like my favorite part of the Akashic yeah. Records it's mm -hmm. so yummy and it's so like distinct and unique to our particular ancestral line. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. But I love that you recorded the light language for yourself because that's a tool like light language is not so much about the meaning. It's more about the vibe, right? So it's like when you want to get into that vibe, all you have to do is play it for yourself and you can shift back in. And mm -hmm. it's also probably one of the reasons why it came through so naturally is because you were, you were, um, doing yoga, you were moving your physical body, mm -hmm. you know, because when we loosen up that energy and we kind of release any, we're, we're just kind of releasing and surrendering, right. Mm -hmm. To, and allowing our body to be a temple and just saying like, here, I'm in a receptive space. And you weren't so much focused on, I have to bring through light language. It just showed right. up because mm -hmm. you were shifting your energy in a way that worked really nicely for you. Yes. And when I was practicing with Mary, someone from the group, yeah. she started we both started doing light language. So we're going back and forth. Yeah. Oh, and that's so cool. Yeah. And then, and it's because so again, when you're working with a client, it's sometimes like different than by yourself. But then when you're working with somebody that is in the class, then it's like, this is kind of weird, but amazing because it's, we're both like, <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, what? I would have loved for that to be recorded. 
yeah, I think she thought it was more normal than I did. <laughs> but regardless, we were obviously connecting. So it was so wow. working with other people in the group was yeah. really helpful too. I formed some like really nice connections. And so I got not with yeah. everybody, but the community was like positive as a whole. But then I also got to really connect with specific women in the group and people I'll be working with in the future. So yeah, yeah that's helpful too. Collaborations galore. Beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you think you would suggest like if you had one thing you could tell people who are watching either live or on the replay, what would you suggest in terms of like transforming their lives, growing exponentially like you have? Because you've grown a lot in a short mm -hmm. period of time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the trust, the trusting factor is probably the most important thing I find that comes yeah. with the program. Because we were just talking about that, um, the importance of to so many people lack trust. And it's not that they lack faith per se as much as it is like sometimes they just have a hard time making that step mm -hmm. um so I don't think it's about so much getting into the program as much as it is trust that you're just as gifted as everybody else is in this world and you don't have to be psychic and you don't have to be in a medium and that's why I keep emphasizing on intuition when I even say spirit I'm like this is just our intuition and that mm -hmm. when you can go into a place like the Akashic Records you can you can access your intuition. So if you're a person who wants to be more intuitive or access your intuition, so you can let go of fixation or anxiety or yeah, like you said, like if it's like obsessive compulsive or, uh -huh. or whatever it is, like our ego and our logic, then this is like a perfect thing for them yeah. to start working on. And if it's just for you, that's great. But for me, I'm going to be teaching like, too so I found like it's also an op an opportunity for you to make your money back too so it's like it's totally up to you what you're doing the program for but the intuition piece is probably most key I think that it tightens up for everybody so that they don't have to remain blocked and get those headaches and not mm -hmm. know what to do and so it's a guide for you to help you in all decision making really yeah which most people, even if you don't have a great diet, it feels like it'll still help you with right. your, you know, if you're not a clean, pure channel, it's still there every time. Yeah. Right. Oh my God. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing. You're totally right. Like one of the things you said was like, you feel, you just feel that you, you have so much more control. And that's, what's so funny is like when we develop our intuition to this level, and we deepen it to this level, we actually gain more control of our experience than when we're trying to control everything before we expand our intuition, mm -hmm. you know? Cause it's like, before that, we're like trying to white knuckle it to like get to where we need to be, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, yeah really cool. It's, it's empowering is what it is. It's just like, yeah. and you know, the first week, I think you feel that way, even if you don't know what, what you're doing yet. It's mm -hmm. a lot of it is, as you said, there's no pattern. It's it's intuitive so it's like it's just amazing that you can that, that everybody can do it that's what I like about it yeah 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 like I'm sure everybody's gonna pass their exam or their their exactly. reading because, <laughs> exactly. because it, it's an art you know it'd be like yeah. not passing human life day yeah and day out. right and everybody does it differently and there's and mm -hmm. there's flexibility in that I love that okay mm -hmm. cool so Tell us what you have going on. Cause I know you have some stuff coming up too. Yeah. So I'm going to be teaching a Reiki one level one, and it's going to be for a month. So there's going to be, um, kind of almost like, even though it's level one, almost like four levels in the one. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and then also you'll get a healing attunement with me privately. Um, and so that's like an opportunity for people who want to add to their skill set that they already have. Like I know there's Sherry that was in the Akashic Records. I know she's interested in learning, even though I attuned her in the group. Now she's like, oh, I'm, you know, I want to work with my cat or work with my dog. Good. So, yeah. So it's great or plants um, or yourself. So that's what's really nice is that, yeah, this is like I'm teaching a level one because I'm most passionate about teaching people similar to yourself, like how to develop intuition, how to ground, 
Um, and Reiki is just something that you can call in really quickly if you're not feeling well or if you want to help somebody else. And then I'm going to be doing a level two um, right after that. So the following week, we'll bring you into the level two. And it's the same cost and it's the same length of time. And so it can be either eight months of one and two or just or just your one. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now is I'm just getting back into the, the teaching world because I want to help keep more people, again, just develop like these skills that I feel like everybody should have a Reiki one. Like I do believe that. Yeah. It's not like, so yeah. if somebody said, oh, who is this for? And I'm like, everyone. Like, it's really hard to say who it's for because if you if you are a human, then you should do this because <laughs> it's like where I began. So yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's where I began too. And that's what I was just going to say is like, it's really important for people to know how much Reiki is. It's such a gentle energy. Like it's mm -hmm. so gentle and it's so compassionate and so loving. And so, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're not going to feel rocked. Like you're just going to feel calm. more of yeah, calm as, as well as having more of like that inner spark, like almost like you've got a little bit of a twinkle in your eye, you know, mm -hmm. because it's like, you're connected to that magic of the universe. Not that we're not already, but you're opening yourself mm -hmm. up to it more. And yeah. um, it's just a very gentle, soothing energy for sure. It is. So that's basically when I started to open up to all my like psychic mediumship, that sort of thing that yeah. started to happen once I got attuned to Reiki. So that's the key yeah. thing is you have your attunement forever. So even if you don't really want to even use Reiki, you get your attunement and then it just opens you up kind of like yep. the Akashic Records. So yeah. And then cool. I'm going to be creating another program coming up um, called Trust. And that's going to also be like four weeks. Apparently that's my number right now. Um, <laughs> and, and it's 444 in Canadian, not US. So that's actually better for you guys. Um, right, right. Yeah, and I'm actually just developing that, I believe, today. So cool. yeah, that, and that's more about, I do theta healing as well. So when I do my programs, what I do is if they have something that's holding them back, like confidence or something like that, then I'll release and pull that energy aside from doing reiki i'll remove that obstacle for them so they can start vibrating mm. what they want and so that's what i guess makes me different is the theta healing i add to everything now like my yeah. programs are all about that because a lot of people are stuck and it just helps them get unstuck so mm. yeah absolutely beautiful <laughs> yeah i put all that stuff in the comments including your email um, at the beginning, I linked your page. So, and then I put the trust program in there. So if people, um, want to connect with you, they know how, so if you guys want to reach out to Robin and ask about those opportunities, that would be amazing. She's phenomenal. Like I said, I don't want to let her go. It's funny. Cause I was literally just thinking we should close our records at the end of this. And then I remember that we're not doing a one-on-one. -on -one. See, it feels like we are, but we're not. So, um, anyway, the other thing I will share with you guys is that this certification program is uh, being offered on a rolling basis this year. So if you guys have any interest in it, I'll put the link in the comments. You could check it out. Let me know if you have questions. And um, I also am currently launching my mastermind. This is for people who really do know that they want to use this kind of work for a spiritual business and developing a spiritual business to six figures and multiple six figures. So I have very, very tried and true practices. I have a very beautiful sales page that was created that you can read all about it. So I'll put that in the links too. So if you're looking more for, Hey, I want to educate myself. I want to be empowered and really learn how to do this healing for myself and my loved ones. You're looking at the Akashic record certification program. If you're saying, Hey, I'm a spiritual entrepreneur, or I think I might want to be, um, then jump into the mastermind because um, I'm going to make this easy for you. Actually, I'm not. The Akashic Records make it easy for you. And then I can share all of my processes, documents, all that stuff, of course, to assist you with, with making this just a magical reality so that we can make a greater magical reality for the collective. That's why we're all here. So anyway, thank you for joining us, Robin. It's been so nice to chat. And thank you for having me. You're welcome. And thanks for being here, everybody. And have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And we'll talk soon. Bye.